Hello guys, this is Magic Tray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Max Payne 2, the fall of Max Payne. We are using large frame buffer, 2560x1440p, native, 16 times anisotropic filtering, mip mapping is off, full direct 3D recommended is on, and we have 16 times MSAA on. Running this game at 16 times MSAA at 1440p costs 1 1.6 gigabytes of video RAM, depending on the level you're on. In the level I'm on, that's what it costs. It may vary. We are using uh, texture filtering of display. FXA sh FXAA shader is on. Now this game does have a not really a severe issue, but I guess you could say for some people, you have to have the texture filtering on bilinear, forced including sprites. Or you could just do bilinear force, but there's a lot of sprites in this game that cause a lot of issues, blockiness and stuff like that. And um, it's in a lot of areas like shirts, towels, stars, clouds, just a lot of everything out there in the game that has a lot of blocky uh, textures. So you may want to filter it with this. Alright. We are using MTVU. I don't recommend it, but if you do have slowdown, turn it on. Now I'm using MTVU because I am using 16x MSAA, so there may be some slowdown, but we're going to test it out. If you have more than 3 cores, you can turn it on. I have 6 cores, so I'm fine. Now the initial resolution this game runs at on the native PS2 is 512 by 448 Let's have a look at this. Get to that. The game also targets 30 frames per second, so we're going to have a look at that. Now as you see, this is the 512 by 448 The gas looks extremely uh, blurry and blocky as you see, if you look carefully. We'll have a look at that very shortly at native 1440p. But if you view angles at oblique, if you view um, the world in oblique angles, like the ground and the walls, on native PS2, uh, everything remains blurry. Um, but if you get closer, it cleans itself up. And also, there's also a lot of aliasing on the ground too at native PS2, as you see. But if I go to native 1440p, everything looks a little bit brighter, and also everything looks a lot more clearer. And all the aliasing is pretty much eliminated. Now, if we go back and view this again, it looks a little bit clearer, but it still remains very blocking. So even though it's been filtered, it's not correctly filtered. I'm not sure if that's the if that's what it's supposed to look like on the initial hardware. But anyway, the HUDs also look clear as well. Bottom left and bottom right. Let's have another quick look. See, there you go. At the bottom right, the AK-47 and the text HUD is a lot more blurrier. And the uh, on the left-hand side, you see the guy standing there. That's also a lot more clearer when I do that, which is really good. Alright, let's go over here. Since the game targets 30 frames, let's see how well it holds up. Oh, okay. Because this is like one of the last missions. I've already finished the game, so I'm just back here again. Oh, I might die. Yeah. But anyway, this is what the game looks like. It holds up quite well already, even though this is a closed area. So if you're in an open wide area with the, in the sniper mission, there's a sniping mission in a construction site. Don't remember having slowdown in that area. I don't think there was. But if there wasn't, then this game holds up quite well because that's one of the biggest areas in the game. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's have a look over here. Let's have a look at this in native 1440, uh, native PS2. Yeah, see everything's a lot more blurrier. The girl, the guy. Uh, clears up a little bit even though when the developers made this game they had to use low asset um, Low assets unfortunately with the hardware they had at the time, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later